you know how you're walking along through the woods and the person in front of you is clearing, you know, branches aside and whatever. Y'all are blazing the path. And that person lets go of a small limb and it starts to spring back to where it wants to be which is coming right at your eye. No worries. Your brain's got all this figured out already. While you're busy gasping in those tenths and twentieths of a second that are now elapsing, while you're busy gasping going, oh no, there's something coming at my eyeball. Your brain has already calculated that. Your brain already knows where it's gonna strike. Pretty much within a few millimeters. Within a few millimeters. Your brain knows where that limb is going to strike its machine. All of this is happening, like I said, in 20th and tenths of a second. You're busy worried about getting hit in the face by a branch and your brain is going, okay, I must remedy this situation. Defensive posture. What do you do? Well, it's not you any longer. It's your brain. What does your brain do? Your brain says, down and away. You know, if something's coming at your face, maybe up and away. But usually, it's down and away. That's just instinctive. If something's coming at you eye level. Down and away. It's going down through the middle of Hughesville. Many, many years ago. I think it had been been raining. Or it was lightly raining. Probably had just finished raining. I was in the old uh, the old accord. Windows were down. And uh, that particular section of roadway there through the middle of Hughesville proper before they put the bypasses in was a, I want to say two lane each way through, you know, a narrow two lane each way through buildings on either sides, uh, tobacco barns, things like that. And I was coming through there one day doing like 45, whatever. Speed limit was 40, doing 45, whatever. And I noticed that it was an oncoming car. Now, I was in the fast lane. Uh, double lines. And I saw the oncoming car, and I thought to myself, man, he's really straddling that line. He's close to that double line. <laughs> Meanwhile, so am I. And as the partial seconds elapse, it begins to occur to me that we are so close, playing chicken, in effect. Whether I think we realize it or not, because it all happened pretty, you know, within seconds, the whole affair. But as the vehicles neared each other, both traveling at approximately, you know, say 40, 45 miles an hour, it occurred to me that we, that we were so close hugging the yellow, our sides of the double yellow line, that our side mirrors were probably going to impact. As I thought that thought, now, you can imagine the position of my head looking at my side view mirror and the oncoming side view mirror. Sort of put your head there. As I thought that thought that our mirrors are liable to impact one another, 
I found my head move, not down and away, up. And I was instructed to look into the rear view mirror. Almost, dare I say, I was instructed, here, look into the rearview mirror. It's kind of how it came to me. I, it was an involuntary... I'm looking at my side view mirror and his side view mirror coming. And as I'm thinking it, our mirrors are getting so close, they're about to impact. And the next thing I know, boom, I'm looking at my rearview mirror eyes wide open, being told that I should look into my rearview mirror. And as I'm getting that message delivered into me, again, this is all happening within 20ths and 20ths of a second. The mirrors impact each other. And a piece of glass strikes my cheek right where my eye was. Now, you can say, oh, you know, no. That was all involuntary. Your brain, the mirror, you're misremembering the memory. The mirrors were already impacting. The piece of glass was already flying. And your excellent, well, not so excellent brain because you're stupid, John. The piece of flying glass was already coming at you and your, uh, auto not, your automatic system, your brain took over. You can say that. But then explain to me why, as God is my witness, as I remember the series of events, sequence of events, why is it that I didn't look down and away, but up, eyes wide open, staring at the rear view mirror, being told that this is the thing that I should be doing, looking in the rear view mirror. And only then, being aware of the mirrors impacting and the piece of glass striking my cheek. As God is my witness, that is how I remember the series of events. I guess the Holy Ghost didn't want me to take my eyes off the road, huh? Peace.